you a beautiful local feel, a cocktail of great things, a house, as well as that gospel feel yeah. from Brendan Praise. That one is um, a duo, Flying the Flag High, of Twane, Black Motion, formed early in 2010. Man, you gotta love Black Motion. And before that one, again, we gave you some ladies, Amar, with Criminal. My little man, we got someone great in studio with us right now. Yeah. That we definitely do. I'm very excited. Let us know what's going on. Eh, Ograni, what is? Yeah, the grand. The man right, the grand fella. But grand, the grand fella. Why get that go so shakasi? Eh, Tara. Yeah, just give us maybe your full name, Lilis Fani, and then we'll tell you why you're here. Okay. Kwa namang di ra, we ra langa. All right. Uh, greetings to listeners at home. Um, my name is Lemon Chauke, and I'm so excited to be here at Massive Metro this morning. Uh, I'm a transformational speaker. Yeah. Oh, I love um, that. Not yeah. motivation. Hey, long. Yeah. Motivation. Motivation. Okay, one of Okay, transformation. Yeah, because yeah. because motivational speakers most of the time they speak to people who are demotivated. Oh yeah. So mm. as a transformational speaker, my focus it is to speak in the lives of people and bring change. Mm. And I don't only do transformational speaking. Mm -hmm. I also do inspirational speaking. Okay. So after speaking, people must be inspired to do something with their lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what basically I spend my time doing, even on social media and places where they host me to come and speak. And I believe that today I'm going to share two or three things which will inspire and transform people who are listening at home. All right. And then for Rona to get to know you better, when did it all start? And also, did you always know what you well about? Uh, it started, I think it was around 2010, Yeah. but what I was doing back then, because um, around 2008, I received Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Nice. Uh. So af after being born again, I had a call to come and preach to people. Mm. So 2010, what I, I, I had spent my time doing, I used to go around preaching the gospel. And around 2013, I was introduced to the field of uh, public speaking. Sure. So I learned the two or three things about public speaking. So around, I think it was um, 2014, mm -hmm. that is when I learned about transformational speaking and inspirational speaking. The gift in me actually, it was triggered when I, I had an encounter with the lives of Dr. G. A. Lichudi yeah. and mm. other transformational speakers who, who are yes. great in, in Africa. Okay. So recently, the man that I'm following, that I look up to, who is a transformational speaker, uh, he's speaking in line uh, in the field of politics. It is P PLO Lumumba. I don't know if you know about PLO yeah, Lumumba. Know yeah. yeah. He's a, he's a great man. I look up to him. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, January has a lot of problems. I, I don't, there's the resolutions, yes. There's yeah. the metrics, but what uh, it? People are looking for work. Kids are looking for space for the column. Mm. And then there's just a lot of depression around mm. this time of the year. So, as to what would you say uh, in that slum? Uh, I think I should start first by quoting a famous quote that says, easy come, easy go. Mm. Oh, solid. And then when people make resolutions, they make resolutions with a vision of easy come. Mm. And what I want to say to people at home is that if you have a vision to do something in life, don't focus on the easy. Even in business, that there's what we call easy market. Mm. Easy market doesn't make money. It cannot be sustained for long. Mm. So what I want to say to people at home, number one, you must become a fighter. Fight for what you want. Okay. You know, this week I was helping uh, some of the students. We went at, at the school and the queue was very long. Yeah. And I remember there were some people on the queue who were saying to us, you won't go in. They tried to discourage us. Mm. But I kept on saying to them, if this is what you want, learn to fight for it yeah i remember uh, around Ju it was july at school where i'm at now i had to run for executive committee it is the subdivision of src mm. when i was planning to run for that position things were not easy mm -hmm. and i remember i was told that uh, you can wait for 2019 to be part of the position yeah. but because i'm a fighter 
I rejected every voice that said to me, mm. run 2019, because my heart was in 2018. Right. So I want to say to people at home, if your heart in 2019 says you can achieve one or three things, fight for that thing in despite of what comes along your way. All right, we're going to come back and get to the nitty gritty of uh, public speaking. <laughs> Record trans for me, you are a you know what, I'm going to go and get a million bucks. Sure, sure, <laughs> definitely. Nice, man. It is January, mm -hmm. but do not worry, we do all join in the great company of someone who is giving us a little bit of encouragement. He hasn't called himself a motivational speaker. How dare you? Mm -hmm. He doesn't motivate the demotivated, but he transforms <laughs> those that need a little bit of change in their lives. That's a Clement. Yes. Mr. Clement, you sound so lusiami, lusiami, or righty, or grandy. Yes, I'm grandy. I I enjoy even the music that you are playing. It takes me to another level. Yeah, yeah. Man. Yes, I'm ready for show. Right Oska muna pero suit. Oka di shaba di bo show. Yeah. Oska muna yata kalimel. How will I like a bo show? So you rubbed me off by waiting. Kadi to the night side December. They get sharper, strong. You're waiting. Strong. Why waiting? You just got married. I'm telling you. You see. So you know what happens? He was transformed. Yeah. 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 He's a new man. <laughs> Alright, so wait, so what actually I'd love to speak about marriage. I know there's many things that you that you'd love to speak about now, but I wanna take it uh get short left. Okay. What gives you the confidence to get married? Because there's people that um make the decision in jail because they're like, oh that's the next best thing. But for someone that calculates and is um, as well thought out as you, what's that thing that was like, you know what, actually, let it be this, let it be now? Uh, I think I have maybe 10 things to say, but maybe I'll say one for now. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there's, there's people that are listening and they're, they're contemplating. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I know and I believe that marriage is an honorable thing. Mm -hmm. And as much as now I just said I got married and everyone is celebrating, mm -hmm. it, it is because of marriage is an honorable thing. It Absolutely. comes it comes with honor that you cannot obtain if you're not married. Mm. Uh, even on platforms that I speak on, I remember this man, Monday, I think it was Monday or Wednesday, it was on Wednesday, I went mm -hmm. to one school in Sochambuve, Elizabeth Matzeme. That's where I speak almost every week. Mm -hmm. So when Lena's found out that I'm now married, yeah. it was it was a serious celebration. And then I also know that uh, the perception that they used to have before about me it has mm -hmm. completely altered. Mm -hmm. They no nice. yeah yeah they'll no longer treat me the way they used to treat me before. Um, I'm I'm no longer available. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, there's like you, like you're not available. At all, yeah. like not even Hanyan. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 you? Yes. Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know to just say anything. <laughs> yeah. What do you think is the most challenging thing about marriage? I think the most challenging thing about marriage is when you you have now to negotiate your time, mm. your money, mm -hmm. almost your everything. Because when you are single, you get to choose that on Saturday I'm going to Massive Metro. And mm. then nobody, uh, you, you don't have to negotiate with anybody about that. Yeah. So now I had to tell my wife on time and said, hey baby, bam, phone aids. I have to go to Massive Metro so that I can hear her input about it. And even today when I came here, I chose to come with her. That's why I'm on fire. Yeah. Yeah, whoa, 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 which one is she? Uh, I should look at it. Ah, yes! <laughs> yeah. 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 I think you can hear my excitement. Mm. Hi, girl! Hey! I think we're we going to talk to her. Yeah. We're definitely going to have a word or two yeah. with her in a bit. I'm okay, going to have tips. Yes! Give me tips. No. What? <laughs> wow! Malume, one of the best nights. We're going to come back. We uh we have some Moby Dixon and Psyche. We're speaking about love. I love love. Um, I think our gentleman over here loves love too so much that he decided to commit his life to love. But it's a love color spirit. It's an Infinite Boys remix. We chat about being a transformational speaker after.
Love Color Spin, one of the biggest songs from uh, Moby Dixon. I think it was 2016 uh, when this one came out. We hang out with old Clement. Uh, Clement, what do you have, man, for the people? People are listening. You said you are transforming. We want to be transformed here, man. Transform us. Transform us. Yeah. It's time for transformation now. Uh, I think I should, I should uh, start here. Mm. I remember there was a time when I was listening to Dr. Mbuisen in Tozi. It was, I think, 2017. Mm. Yeah. There's a, there's a quote that he made that says, association brings illumination. Mm. So if you are in darkness, when you associate with people who are in the light, mm. you receive light. Okay. Secondly, I want to share about something that I, most of the time when I go to platform, I speak about it. I remember it was last year uh, in Social Move Extension 11. I saw a guy who is uh, selling chickens. You know, Goka mm -hmm. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then he had a cage. And then chickens were kept inside that cage. Yeah. So there was this other chicken, Eluring, it was kept outside the cage. Mm. So this chicken that was kept outside the cage, I remember the guy leaving that platform, that spot where he is selling chickens. And I was like to that guy, man, are you not afraid that this chicken will run away? Yeah. And I remember the guy responding, saying to me that, so long as this chicken sees other chickens which are kept inside the cage, mm. it also thinks that it is inside the cage. Wow. Think about that. Wow. Mm. So just because of it was with chickens which does, they, they don't have liberty, it also thought that it is not liberated. Mm. So some relationships, so long as you, are, you still keep setting people in your life, mm. you will never realize your potential. Mm -hmm. Like I said in the beginning, the gift of transformational speaking, when it was triggered within me, mm. it was when I had an encounter with the likes of G. A. Yeah. If I didn't hear that man speak, mm. I wouldn't be where I am today, speaking the way I'm speaking. Yeah. Because the only thing that I thought to myself back then is that I'm only a preacher and I'm only good to do that. Mm. But here I am now doing something that is different. Mm. And I also remember how I was when I was in high school. I used to be one of those uh, boys who were naughty. To be honest with you, mm. I, I used to smoke daha. Mm. I used to gamble. Yeah. I used to do lots and lots of funny things. Mm. And I thought that that was me. Because I was like that chicken which was kept next to the cage. Mm. I couldn't realize my potential. Yeah. Soon as I started to change my association, that's when I started to discover who I am. Mm. So I want to say to people, uh, 2019, as, as it starts, make sure that you start to interrogate the people who are in your life, your, your surrounding. Mm. Check who is in your presence. Yeah. Because there are some people, when you are with them, they delay your progress. Mm. There's a word in English that is called the synergy. It has to do with momentum. Yeah. You can only gain momentum when you have another person in your life. Mm. But the question is, the person whom you are having now in your life, do they help you to move forward or do they do they stop you from progressing mm. in your life yeah so mm. that's what i want to say to people at home check who your relationships are like 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 last year i just got married and at, at a tender age mm. i'm not even dating to yeah. be honest with you mm. i just got married but what also shaped my mindset to see myself as a husband mm. is because of i associate with men who are married mm. If I didn't associate with them, I wouldn't be taking such bold steps. Last year, I even to made a decision to go to school after so many years mm. not being at school because I encountered a man by the name of Dr. Konvi Baloy. Mm. He's a great man. He's, he's an academic. And I remember uh, when he was speaking, when he started to speak about his academic achievement, I was dead within me to go back to school. So it took those associations for me to be where I am today. If it was not of those associations i wouldn't be where i am today all right another music break and then we're gonna go i'm gonna go check the list of my friends and delete a few <laughs> and maybe things you will have change to. Like to <laughs> and we're unapologetic about it yes nice yeah my homeboy shimza he just threw one of the biggest parties i think a 25 nobody can touch the 25th the christmas party that he does and also i'm happy with the fact that he went out and donated so much I think like, it's, I think it's incredible know? that even got Christmas, yeah. people are like, no my yini. Yeah, after yes, seven colors, I... over to, so what's it, 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 what
you feel like I need to go out. Then it's Guti who o'clock. Exactly. Then it is Guti who. Yeah. After the choice assorted and Oras. <laughs> Malome. So we've left that alone since 2018. We've left that alone. That's perfectly okay. We're still joined by someone who is absolutely exceptional. But before that, we played you some uh, Shimza as well as Busiswa. Someone who has been running the game for years on years on years and got herself an award to kind of represent that as well. If you didn't know, now you definitely know. But we are with Mr. Oh, I need to get this right <laughs> because I get so happy when I say this. Mm. Mr. Clement, mm. TC speaker. Oh, yeah. And TC stands for Tender Care. Care. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, again, as we continue our conversation, and also just trying to get into their mindset, okay. trauma, you know, we need to have that focus. Okay. Um, secondly, what I like to say to people is that don't hold on to what you must let go of. Mm. Um, I'm just gonna uh, give you a picture now. If you look at the de developmental stages of a child, mm. there's a stage when a child um, develops baby what we what you call milky teeth, mm -hmm. and then there's a stage when the child has to let go of those milky teeth. Mm -hmm. And after a phase of milky teeth, now you move to a phase of permanent teeth. Mm -hmm. Now. The problem is that is that with us people, when we have to let go of certain things because of we were used to them for so long, we find ourselves failing to let go of mm -hmm. them. So, uh, most of the people who are listening at home, they know that I am not only a transformational speaker, I'm also a graphic designer. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. I'm also a photographer. Mm -hmm. I do website developments and web designs. Mm -hmm. I do number of things, even artist management. Yeah. Those I perceive as my milk teeth. Okay. And then my permanent teeth is what I'm doing right now, which is transformational speaking. Mm. So what I want to say to people is that when you see me designing things, don't think that is where my destiny is tied at. Mm. I have found something that I'm passionate about doing mm. for the rest of my life. Yeah. So there are some people, the problem is that when you start to make money out of a thing like graphic design for me that make money and then transformational speaking compared to what i make with graphic design the the percentage of graphic design is higher than speaking for now mm. and then people are trapped in their salary mm. their salary alters their thinking mm. and you yeah. find that you make permanent resolutions based on how much you earn and then that can make you to lose what you're supposed to do for the rest of your life mm. so now that I have found out that speaking is something that I'm passionate about, I went to school to register. Why did I register? I registered because I want to increase the content of what I'm speaking about. Sure. Because I don't want to become that preacher who has maybe a powerful voice, mm. but not relevant when it comes to content. Yeah. yeah. So the, 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 the course that I've registered for, it is uh, theology. I'm studying theology at school. Okay. Oh, and then great. I'm also an activist. I'm, I'm passionate about transforming the lives of people, especially the black society. Mm. My vision, it is not to travel the world speaking. Yeah. The vision that I have, it is to travel Africa mm. speaking. Mm. Because yeah. I'm no longer doing this thing for pleasure. I'm doing it for people to add value mm. in the lives of people. Yeah. So I can't say to myself, I'll go to USA and add value whilst they have value that is bigger than of Africa. Mm. Oh. And then oh, wow. our, there's, a, there's a man who once started a movement uh, that is called the Black Consciousness Movement, mm -hmm. Steve, uh, Beagle. Steve Beagle. Yeah. When he started it, you, you, you'll find out that the foundation of Black Consciousness Movement, it was Christianity. And then when they started the Black Consciousness Movement, it was when they were contending against inequalities which South Africa had back then. Mm. And even today, we still have crisis in Africa. Uh, I'm one person, I'm more realistic than idealistic. So I, I focus on what is currently happening. And then what is happening in our societies, I can tell from where I am standing that a lot still need to be done. Mm. Steve, Stephen Bantu Bigo said, black man, you are on your own. Yeah. 
yeah. there are times whereby we we must we must be conscious of the fact that we we are standing on our own because sometimes you find that what is balancing you is something that is temporary mm. so whatever that we we are doing as a black society we must make sure that we leave a legacy that will live on to transform even societies that will come after us oh. Power to that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, get grand, Dawoodi. Yeah, no, man. I, I think people are touched. Uh, people will take the good out of everything you said, which I think it was all good. But yeah, maybe the life will touch it. Definitely. Yeah, and then where do we find you? Like, we are guy with Zang this year. Uh, this year, what I'll be doing, I'll be doing more of transformational speaking events. Mm -hmm. I have one that is lined up for March. Okay. And then we'll be having uh, Tabiso Muketi, the former actor at uh, Generations. Mm. He'll be on the lineup as one of the speakers. Okay. And then for events that I'll be doing throughout the year, those who want to follow me on social media, I'm, I'm available on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. It is Clement uh, TC Speaker. Mm -hmm. That's where you can find me. And also my videos are on YouTube. You can watch some of the uh, speakings that I did mm -hmm. on, on certain platforms. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I keep on receiving messages from my family. They say they want the shout out uh -huh. before we wrap up. Okay, so you yeah, can okay, yeah. just greet them. Yeah, so shout out to Chawalala's family, uh, Chowgate's family, Divito's family, Bodajani's family, four families. Yeah. Imagine. And then shout out to the wife. I see the Sh Shout out to my wife. Shout out to my wife. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure, guys.